think of surface tension as kind of a skin over water. In this case, I'm gonna drop pennies into a container of water that seems to be totally filled. And yet even though the water is at, already at the brim, I can continue to drop pennies in and the level of the water continues to rise. But as you can see, even from the edge, the water is extending over the top, extending over the lip of the container, but it's not spilling over. And that is surface tension. Now the question is, now that you understand surface tension, can you float metal on water? Now I'm not talking about a penny, that's a little bit too dense, but I do have paper clips. Now if you were just to take a paper clip and set it on the water, it's gonna fall in. But by placing the paper clip on the fork and then slowly lowering the fork and the paper clip into the water, So this is just the surface tension of the water that's keeping the paper clips floating. Now the neat thing is that once you've shown this to your friend, they'll want to try it. And if you want to play a joke on your friends, all you do is that you give them a paper clip or a fork that has a little bit of soap on it because soap will ruin the surface tension of water. I'm just going to dip a little bit of one of the tines of the fork into the soap. And so even though you can't see that, as soon as the fork touches the container, watch what happens to all of the paper clips. They all start to fall because you've broken the surface tension of the water. I have a little penny. I'm going to place it in the water. Logan and I are going to try and rescue the penny, but there's a catch. I'm going to sprinkle pepper all over the top of the water. So if the surface of the water is totally covered with pepper, you're not allergic to pepper, are you? Take that as a no. Okay, good. The question is, how can we get to the penny with our fingers, but without touching any of the pepper specks? It would seem as though it's impossible, except we're going to use the surface tension and a little bit of soap. This is just liquid dish soap touching on the end of a Q-tip. And I want you to take this and just touch the Q-tip to the surface of the water. Wow, you see what happened? All the pepper moved away and now I can reach inside, grab the penny out and I never touched any of the pepper. So why does that work? It works because soap, eliminates the surface tension of water. So as soon as you touch the soap to the, the top, all of the pepper moves away from it. It's almost like magic. <laughs>